so you can see I'm already starting to measure off my clay. My bottom's a little wider. Pull your water out now while you can. trying to keep that long and weight low. So what, um, obviously we're, going to, we're asking more of the clay by making it even rounder, so we're going to leave a little bit more on the bottom, and, and we want more of an angle on there, and now we got room so our, our lid, or our handle will come off here, and then our spout will drop down a little lower. So with a teapot like that, would it be better to have the handle going over the top? Yeah, or? yeah for sure. Well, yeah, because as uh, because now as we're we're starting to elongate things more, if we put the handle further out, the farther the handle gets away from the center, the heavier it's going to be. So um, if, if you you know, I mean, if you you obviously on something like that, it would be pretty difficult to attach an over the top handle. So we got to start to bring that plane on more of an angle to allow something for the handle to attach to. Now one thing when you're throwing on the hump, the clay that's on the very top, it tends to be kind of full of a lot of slip and a little bit vulnerable. Uh, when I was taught, you should always kind of take that little bit off. And then that helps with cracking and stuff.
that's a very simple lid. Again, you're uh, forming the outside, not the inside.